I'm in love with crossbodies. Today, I want to go over the top eight bags that are crossbody that you can still find at Tory Burch at a reasonable price. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I want to go over the best crossbody bags you can find at Tory Burch. Now, you know I love Tory Burch, there's just so many good classic design to add to the wardrobe. Today I want to go and have a browse of Tory Burch and highlight the top best to eight Tory Burch crossbody bags that you can still purchase in store. And like always, if you like the content on the channel, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It'll really mean a lot. Thank you so much for considering. And for those of you who are prescribers, welcome back to another review. Today, I want to go over a couple of camera bags and crossbody bags. This first one I want to go over is the small Kira Chevron camera bag. Now this bag is priced at $518 Canadian. You can see it has a combination chain as well as a leather strap that's adjustable, which is great because if you want a crossbody bag over your shoulder, you want something that's comfortable. Um, I think it is one of the best crossbody bags for the money that you pay for at Tory Burch at this time. It's a very classic style that I don't think will be out the door the next year is something that's very timeless it does remind me a little bit of the gucci um shoulder bag that you can see here is around 2140 dollars for the gucci one so i feel like this tory birch one really give a good run for the money compared to this gucci marmon one uh, I know that this one was very popular a couple of years back. Um, nowadays, I don't see it as much anymore, but I feel like Tory Burch has come out with some really great affordable alternatives that puts a great competition on the handbag market. So anyways, um, this particular one you can see is one big compartment side with a smaller zipper side compartment for some of the items that you want a little bit more secure. I feel like camera bags are so great in that it should be added to everybody's um, wardrobe for given that they are so versatile great for going from daytime to evening and the security of a zipper is fantastic in addition to that i think camera bags usually pack a bunch like it looks really compact but you can put so much inside i also want to emphasize i love the antique kind of gold chain that it comes with the gold on black just looks like classic this burgundy one is also so beautiful there are a couple colors, but definitely if you're checking out for a good crossbody bag, I think at Tory Burch, that one is probably one of the top contenders for you to consider. I think crossbody bags has a very good um, lifespan, I guess, in the handbag collection, but you really have to find one that hits the hip in the right way so that it's not too long, that it feels like you're being dragged down by the bag, and it's not too short that hits your hand when you um, go about your normal day. Um, in general, I find that the durability of these bags are pretty good. Um, at least you don't have to worry about babying these bags so much. You can see that the strap is adjustable with a couple of different um, holes for you to adjust, but I think once you get them to the right um, length for you, you probably won't change it very much. So I feel like Tory Burch is like American classic, but a lot of inspiration from luxury designer bags from like all over the world. So the next one I want to show you that is also a very popular contender on Tory Burch's crossbody bags is the Perry Bombay mini bag. This one is just absolutely gorgeous. It's $418 Canadian. This one in this lighter taupe and then also the black one, I feel is just so beautiful. I think out of this one and the previous one I've shown you, the I mean, this one is definitely higher up on my wish list. I feel like it's a really good contender for another bag that's very similar to Gucci which I'll show you in a moment you can see that the leather strap is adjustable there is no chain um, to the bag and the strap is um, detachable so if you want to play around the bag you want to add like a chain strap to it you have the option of doing that of course it's a typical camera bag so you're not expecting feet on it and I love how minimalistic it's not so much in your face um, even though it does have the Tory Birch Classic T logo on it. 
you can see there are two compartments in the bag and they both have the zipper closure the goal of finishing is a little bit different compared to the previous chevron camera bag that you saw I will try to give you a comparison later on but if you're looking for something that has like several compartments already built into the bag this might be something that you will prefer over like the previous one which had just one large compartment here just giving you a closer look i feel like the zipper is not super nothing super like bells and whistle and fancy it's just like a ring but overall i think this will be a good bag that is great for like running quick errands and you also have the ability to be totally hands-free which is one of the reasons i love crossbody bags i think bags are there to help you enjoy your experiences whether you're with your children or with your friends or just with your hubby going on a night out here you can see there is a back flap with a magnetic closure which is a really nice touch for items that you want to go in and grab in and out of quickly but yes, this crossbody is definitely one of the top, top contenders among all the crossbody bags of Tory Burch for me. But like I was saying, this bag does reminisce of another Gucci bag for me, which I'll show you right now on the screenshot. It is the Gucci Soho Disco Bag, which is currently priced at $1,935. I don't know... I wouldn't say the bag is exactly the same given that it has like two main compartments but like it does have like the give me a similar vibe as that one and I feel like this is a very good co like cost alternative if you're liking that particular type of style. The next one I showed you, want to show you is from the Miller collection. Now the first one is actually the Miller Foam Crossbody. I don't know if you guys have been seeing a lot of these vertical bags nowadays. I'm definitely seeing it a lot more as a design added to a lot of fashion houses. But in all honesty, when I'm out and about downtown, I just don't really see people wearing these bags as often. I guess the whole function of this bag is just really to put your phone in it. You can see there's two magnets in the front to keep it closed. But like you really can't fit very much else. Maybe like a lipstick or a mask, or a few credit cards, maybe a small card holder. Um, it's very limited. I, I just haven't caught on to the trend for this type of bag yet. What do you guys think of this vertical style bag? If you've seen some of my previous videos, you know how much I rave about crossbodies because I have children of my own and I just loving having my hands free um just holding on to their hands while they're still wanting to hold my hand <laughs> out in public and just having my bag around a bag is there for me to enjoy my life experiences and i love like the idea of having hands-free bags so i can use my hands to kind of enjoy a cup of tea or like hold on to the hand of my children or my hubby so um i think crossbody's always been have a lure to me and i've always wanted to find like the perfect crossbody bags this is why i did that dedicate a whole video for this next one is the mccraw camera bag this camera bag has been a while for a while now and i've seen a couple youtube influencer talking about it i can see the lure for this bag given that is one large compartment like not so much like um I guess hardware and it just looks a little bit more minimalistic i just want to point out that the chain is actually a little bit different compared to some of the other crossbody bags it does have the leather strap on top for it to be a little bit more comfortable but like the chain is more like an oval chain that's a little bit more shiny gold rather than antique gold it's something to consider when you're adding a camera bag to your collection whether it, this type of um, hardware will match with your for example your wardrobe after all you don't necessarily want to get like a whole new wardrobe just to fit your bag you want your bag to fit with your wardrobe and vice versa here is the kira pebble wallet crossbody bag it's currently priced at 308 dollars canadian it's something that's a little bit more simplistic i would say if you want something that is just flat not too bulky and just one zipper compartment Here's a couple of Robinson wallet on chain. This, this collection's actually been around for a while. I'm not gonna highlight it in this video in particular. I do wanna talk about the McGraw wallet. 
um, crossbody. This one is currently priced at $298. You can see it's essentially it's like a wallet with a crossbody strap. Here you can see that um, it does actually come in several colors, but there's only one at the store at the moment as I'm looking at. Um, it has like the two compartments as well as a zipper compartment in the middle as well as plenty of card slots Which I'm not really sure how I feel about card slots nowadays given that like a lot of my cards is on my cell phone and I think that like having lots of card slots really shows the age of a bag and I really want a bag to age well over time with me so um not exactly drawn to that. I think over time they will end up facing probably card slots from a lot of these wallets on chain next is the t monogram wallet crossbody again i just want to show you a couple of wallet crossbodies um for those of you who are more minimalistic i don't think there is one crossbody bag that is best for everybody because like after all we all have different lifestyles it's important to have a crossbody bag that fits the function of what you need um so whether it's like you are a minimalist and only carry like a uh, chapstick and uh, maybe a card wallet uh, or like if you want to carry your sunglasses and like a couple of other items in your bag, treats and snacks, you might want to consider a larger crossbody bag like a camera bag. So definitely these wallet um, crossbodies are definitely for more minimalists. I've tried to incorporate to my lifestyle before and I just find that it was really difficult. And at the end, of it, I just had to remind myself that uh, number one, reason that you have a bag is for function and i shouldn't have to change my life to fit around a bag so that's something just to remind you and remind myself as well when you're picking up a crossbody that it needs to be functional this is a fleming bag that from the collection that has been around for a while i know it's pretty popular a couple years ago but I would say over the last few years, I haven't seen as many of them roaming around in the wild, um, at least in downtown. So yeah, I next I want to show you a couple of other Kira bags that are more like one of the more famous Tory Burch collections. I do find that the Tory Burch color schemes are very neutral and trending and black, very classic and like I'm starting to like it a lot more because i find that it, it blends well with my wardrobe this one is the kira quilted camera bag the kira line's really popular and this one's currently priced at 668 dollars it has this flap closure of a turn lock closure along with a larger compartment on the other side so if you're looking for something that's a camera bag but also extra flap closure on the outside this might be for you it has a chain combination with the leather strap. So I love this alternate take on camera bag. Of course, for me, I love black bags because black goes with almost anything. So this antique gold of black is just such an amazing combination. I must say the leather is also very supple and just feels so good in your hand. You feel like you can't go wrong. Next one is the Kira Chevron wallet, chain wallet. You can see it's a turn lock closure. I'm doing it one hand and I'm honestly not having a lot of trouble with it. You can see that it's already sectioned off with a typical wallet on chain uh, with a lots plenty of card slot and a zipper closure. Definitely for more of a minimalist, but I love the aesthetic of this bag. It reminds me a little bit of like a YSL, um, kind of like a got kind of style, like the Chevron style. You can see there is a slip pocket in the back and it comes in several different colors. I think this this particular collection is very popular as well. In particular, I think it's because how people relate to YSL design. That's also like plenty of price increases in over the last year. So people are looking for alternatives for um, that are more affordable for daily use of course they have the chevron convertible shoulder bag for the kira that's a little bit more expensive for the purpose of this video for crossbody bags i want to focus on kind of more budget items i feel like tori birch has a lot of great designs that are great for you to try out whether it is the type of bag that you would like before you splurge on perhaps um comparison that are a little bit on the higher end luxury side 
I also want to show you this Miller mini bag. This gold chain just looks exquisite. Of course, I do want to re reiterate that some of the hardware you'll find on um, Tory Burch is a little bit more like shiny gold rather than the antique gold. So you, you really need to figure out if that's something that you like. And plenty of the crossbody bags you'll find that are larger will already have sections on it. So if you're not into having like a bag that's already pre-sectioned for you and you just like something with like one big compartment, I would probably go for some of the traditional camera bags that they have. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the shopping trip. There's just one more I want to show you and it's this Robinson style um, camera bag or probably wallet on chain. Uh, Robinson is among the one of the more famous Tory Burch collection. Um, you can see it was represented by the T double T monogram with the circular bevel on the front. Very ultra functional, very timeless. And I think that's the general trend I'm seeing for a lot of the Tory Burch collection. So I hope you enjoyed this shopping trip, checking out some of the best crossbody bags at Tory Burch. And I'd love to hear from you if you have experiences with some Tory Burch crossbody bags that I mentioned here. Do you have a favorite or something that's on your wish list? Do you think that this brand is worth it? I would love to know. Please leave a comment below. And with that said, thank you so much for joining me on this video. And I'll see you next time in another mommy review. Take care and stay safe.